What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Mike Dolce Show. I am Mike Dolce, your host, here to bring you the most honest, actionable, evidence-based information to dramatically improve your life. Today, we're going to have some fun and talk about Tyron Woodley rematching Jake Paul when Tommy Fury fell out, right? Tommy Fury, the younger brother of the greatest heavyweight in modern era, Tyson Fury. Tommy Fury is Tyson Fury's younger brother, was supposed to fight an undefeated boxer in his own right, Tommy is, was supposed to be fighting Jake Paul in a massive boxing event. Those of you who know Jake Paul know Jake Paul is an undefeated boxer, former massive YouTube star, but previously Disney contracted entertainer. I don't know exactly what he did back in those days. So, Jake was supposed to fight Tyson after already beating Tyron Woodley in a legitimate boxing match um, in, in the spring a few months back. Jake beats Tyron. Tyron gets a, a, a tattoo, which is part of their bet, which is silly, that said, I love Jake Paul. And Tyron got it on his finger. I love Jake Paul. He got it on his finger, which was part of the contract that Jake said, if you get the tattoo, then I'll rematch you. And then Jake didn't like the tattoo placement, so said, I'm not going to rematch you, plus I beat you anyway. And Jake, Jake beat Tyron. I'm friends with Tyron, so full disclosure. But I'm friendly with those inside Jake Paul's camp. And I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. Jake Paul's training his ass off. Jake Paul's training his ass off. Jake Paul has been training his ass off. Jake Paul is the real deal when it comes to an athlete. I know athletes. I spent my whole life in gyms with athletes, coaching athletes. I'm the four-time world MMA trainer of the year, right? I've coached many world champions and, and spent my career in the main event you know, niche of, of professional combat sports. Jake Paul is the real deal. Full stop. He's the real deal. This kid's putting in the work. He's putting in the work the way I wish most of the competitive professionals are putting in the work. Right, so to be fair to Jake, let's give him that, but he's fighting Tyron Woodley. Tyron Woodley is one of the most dominant champions in UFC welterweight history. I believe Tyron Woodley had five world title defenses. He won and defended his title a total of five times. That's a five-time world champion. Jake Paul has, or, or Tyron Woodley has big wins over the who's who in MMA and has had huge fights, win or lose huge fights in MMA. Tyron Woodley, Tyron Woodley, if I'm, I might've said Jake's name there for a moment. So now the fights this weekend, and what do I think is gonna happen? Here's the thing, what do I think is gonna happen? Well, we're gonna break down two scenarios. Scenario one, which is the most likely scenario. Scenario two, which is an equally possible alternative though not as likely i'll start with one first scenario number one jake paul has been training his ass off for about four months to fight tommy fury in the biggest fight of his career jake paul knows he's fighting a high level boxer jake paul has likely been boxing at a very high level with a lot of motivation jake paul could not risk the social the social ridicule, in my opinion, of losing to Tommy Fury. And if Jake Paul beats Tommy Fury, Jake Paul can retire and probably come back for Floyd, May Floyd Mayweather money. Jake Paul could probably come back for 50 to $100 million a fight if he beats Tommy Fury. As crazy as that sounds, it's click, it's clicks, it, right? That's what it is. He will get the clicks. He will get the cash. It will happen. So he's in shape. Woodley trains. I've never known Tyron Woodley to not be in shape. Well, not be in shape when you talk about the high level, when you talk about combat shape. You can be in shape. You can do 30 minutes of, of elliptical and, and another 30 minutes of cardio kickboxing and hey, you're in shape. You're in shape. But you're not first round elite combat shape that's the real deal of it many people think they are right many people think they are but i'm telling you this right now if you're, you're doing f45 if you're doing a, a you know zumba if you're doing two a days doing treadmill if you're running 5ks you know and doing some kettlebells in your crossfit gym and you you 
you know, you beat your, your Murph time. That's a fucking high five to you. That's, that's, ex you are exceptional. Let me tell you, you are exceptional, but you get smashed out in the first round of a low tier combat event. Judo, Sambo, Jiu Jitsu, American wrestling, MMA, kickboxing, boxing. It's just, it's a whole nother world. Now, Woodley is in great shape. But is he in that elite level shape? I believe Jake is in, in that elite level shape. So this is, remember, scenario number one is Jake goes out there. He's bigger. He hits harder. I mean, Woodley, Woodley has that pop. We know Woodley put down Robbie Lawler, no problem. He put down uh, Jay Haran, no problem. He's put down a few others, no problem. I, I forget who at the moment. He's put down one punch. He's got that. Jake's got that too. Jake fucking deaded Ben Askren. Ben Askren's got a chin. Ben Askren's tough. No one ever said Ben Askren's chinny, right? Remember that. Jake fucking deaded him. Boop. One shot dead. So Jake's got that. You know, a lot of people try and take stuff at Jake. I don't care. I, I just see two athletes here. And I, you know, two athletes. Scenario number one, Jake goes in there and, and whether he volumes Woodley, because Woodley's still got a chin, right? We, we haven't seen Woodley you know, go out, um, I don't believe. You know, he's, he's more, it's just kind of the accumulation and his gas tank. And that's the thing to close that scenario. Number one, Woodley has a suspect gas tank, or maybe he just doesn't know how to use his gas tank. I believe, I believe Woodley has six gears. I just think he gets stuck in, in third gear, second or third gear. And maybe that's because Woodley's second or third gear was good enough to beat everyone in sixth gear. That's possible. I've trained with Woodley. Dude is special. Right? Back in 07, 08, 09, Woodley and Ellenberger, when they were just young up-and-comers, I trained with them in, in Team Quest Portland, Oregon in that room. They were the young kids coming out of college, right? Woodley's always been special. So scenario number two, scenario number two, this is a fun one. Scenario number two sees Tyron Woodley reclaim his former glory. Scenario number two sees Tyron Woodley as the very best version of himself because in scenario number two there is no pressure on Tyron Woodley's back Tyron Woodley took this fight on short notice Tyron Woodley took this fight not in training camp Tyron Woodley took this fight slightly heavier than normal and in slightly less condition than normal Tyron Woodley has zero pressure to win this fight and he's getting paid big money don't 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 worry about Woodley Woodley, Mama Woodley is going to be fine. Tyron can get his whole family brand new cars and, and still throw some into a, a Roth 401k um, S&P 500 ETF, right? He'll, he'll do that. Hopefully he'll do that too. Scenario number two sees Tyron Woodley come out there loose and aggressive and could give no Fs and nasty and throw in those big bombs that deaded Robbie Lawler, right? Throw in those big, nasty shots with that athleticism that Woodley has. Dude, can I've seen him run up walls and stuff like that. He's got all that, his wrestling, his scrambling. If people forget, Woodley is an amazing wrestler, amateur wrestler, I believe an All-American in his own right at that level. Um, and I apologize if I'm not giving him full due to all his accolades but he's at the very top at the d1 level in, in his collegiate career and i will ask you this when you talk about condition and what i said in scenario one is still very valid but this is an equally possible alternative though less probable it's still equally valid that woodley goes out there with no pressure with no stress and now refound vigor to just, what the fuck do I have to lose? I'm just going to let it go. I'm going to let it go. And when you ask about the conditioning, but Dolce, you just said he might not be in shape. I will say this to you right now. If Jake Paul broke into your house at one o'clock in the morning, drunk, being aggressive towards your wife or your children, 
You right now off the stool, out of bed in your boxer shorts would beat the shit out of him for three rounds, four, eight rounds until the cops showed up, right? You wouldn't worry about your training camp. You wouldn't even, you would have that in you. We all have that in us, by the way. We all have that in us, but we're soft and we pretend that we need a training camp. I need to warm up. I need to stretch. I, I need to put on my special running shoes in order for me to go running. I can't run in these shorts. I get chafed, right? We're soft. But if that motherfucker breaks in your house in the middle of the night and tries to threaten or take what you got, you are going to war. You're not thinking about sipping on a Gatorade or popping a BCAA. You're not thinking about your training camp and how many miles you did not run. You are going to war. You're scrapping, you're fighting. And you will be fine when the police showed up. Got him all hogtied laying on the ground. That's real. I had this conversation years ago, 15 years ago now, maybe 2008, 2000, no, 2009, with Ryan the Lion Schultz, former IFL lightweight champion. We had this conversation one day after a long, long training session. He and I just left in the gym, sitting there soaking wet, sweaty. And we were just talking about training and conditioning and fighting and like, we we're talking about the psychological side of it. A lot of guys, I need a training camp. I need this. I need this. I need this. No, you're just not. It's just up here. So is it up here? That's the point. Scenario number two sees Tyron Woodley unlock it, unleash it, and go out there and throw bows. So what's going to happen? I do not know. I will definitely be watching. Leave comments below. If you see this video before the fight, what do you think is going to happen? If you see it after the fight, let's talk about it. I appreciate you guys for being here. And until next time, boom.